hello actually this video for uh, Lakan Mai uh, you have a question on my uh, video how to install Sophos secure email appliance <coughs> so he have uh, faced a problem uh, I read this uh, I got a minor issue so my sender mail log cannot identify my internal email address but email from gmail to internal can be seen in the log so that means uh, when mail sends to uh, internal to external he not say uh, seen on this space mail log uh, so here i have seen uh, one from my internal to external and <coughs> many of uh, them are external to internal it's okay it's actually um, I am a uh, client side uh, server so I need to clear this uh, how, how is the settings or what, you know, what will be the configuration uh, so I have the some uh, four task uh, first four task is uh, the need to change 25 ports forward to see from router or firewall so it uh, need to change uh, on your router or firewall uh, which is actually forwarded to your mail server but uh, in this scenario you need to send this uh, 25 ports to uh, your uh, secure email appliance which is your uh, support secure, uh, secure uh, email appliance so need to change the uh, port forwarding actually uh, 25 ports forward to C uh, C means uh, secure email appliance so you need to change this uh, firewall uh, as like uh, if you want to uh, a configuration in my uh, organization uh, IP net inside source static TCP uh, this uh, my uh, internal IP and the port number then external IP or public IP then port number and extensible uh, this commands uh, will helps you for port forwarding uh, on your router so you need to same configuration on firewall uh, for uh, route actually mail uh, SMTP port forward to uh, C server then uh, second option need to change or create mail server relay connector to C uh, so uh, this is my mail server uh, I have uh, created a relay uh, connector uh, which is for uh, external now uh, so here is need to send um, uh, this uh, option uh, receive mail from remote server that have this IP address so you need to change uh, this IP uh, 245 actually my notepad here have 245 for this okay uh, this is the my C server uh, and this is the real IP net so need to change your uh, receive connector uh, you need to change external connector also or uh, you can uh, create a new uh, as relay and change uh, your uh, mail, uh, remote server uh, so uh, normally uh, it was uh, your mail server now it uh, will your C server uh, ok then third option need to send this uh, SMTP connection at smart host so you need to change your uh, SMTP sender send connector send connector SMTP boot I have uh, I have seen uh, normally uh, use domain name system DNS or MX record uh, to route mail automatically but here is uh, route to smart host which uh, your IP will be uh, your C server so need to change uh, this option to this option and uh, add your uh, C server IP <coughs> so 
is the third option already done and the fourth option is need to change uh, C configuration so you need uh, we will go again uh, our C server uh, here is the C server you need to change uh, the trusted relay uh, which is our uh, mail server here uh, I have uh, added my mail server IP uh, so four items need to change or configure uh, or create uh, which uh, required for you uh, you need uh, need to these four uh, operations then you will uh, see in your uh, mail incoming and outgoing both in your mail log thank you